Sure, you seen like a lot of crazy shit out there, out there in East Oakland, man. Back in the days, man. Man, it was '97. It's ninety. It's ninety. It's ninety-seven when I got there, if I'm if I'm if I remember correctly. But it's ninety-seven, ninety-eight. You know everything going crazy. It's, it's Tupac just died. Biggie just died. Uh, Hot Boy is going crazy. Master P. You know it's, it's going up like right now at this time. Right. We weren't. We on some Irish and shit. Kobe. Mm -hmm. Like it was. It was. A, it was a good time. I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot of shit. But yeah, them East Oakland days taught me a lot, for real. Definitely, then I know you had mentioned uh, being out in South Carolina or North, North Carolina. North Carolina, shout out to High Point. That's where my dad, my dad is from um, High Point. High so, Point, North Carolina. So what year was you out there? Like, how old was you when you was out that way? So when I left South City in 93, 94, one of them, 93, 94. Okay. I landed in North Carolina. How long was you out there? And I was out there for two years. Yeah. Like, beautiful experience. Like, if you, I was a kid, so we playing football. I was I was in the sports, so we playing football. We playing basketball. We doing shit like that. Like, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to see where the girls at, of course. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm a kid. I don't really know too much. But North Carolina was a, was a ball for me, and I got to meet my dad's side of the family, which I never met. Yeah. Up until that point. <clears throat> right. Yeah, so so around ninety three, ninety four, that probably was when you start messing with you know, getting in, getting involved with girls and everything. The, yeah, they yeah, yeah, they took advantage of me in uh ninety three, ninety I don't remember what year, but ninety four. Yeah. That's how you know a nigga old, huh? Ninety four, ninety three, it was yeah. It was it was up. We went to North Carolina, I was out there, G and we had like I ain't never seen snow. I'm from San Francisco. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it was beautiful to me just because I was a kid. I don't know how my people, or, you know, my older siblings felt or my mom or whatever felt, but just for me being a kid, I got to play football in the snow. I got to play basketball with niggas just dunking in the seventh grade, G. Man. They got hops. Like, in the South, it's way different. They right. ball, for, like, I'm gonna get them they props, like they ball. I got a lot of game from out there too. Like, mm -hmm. you gotta be tough over there. Shout yeah. out to North Carolina for real, like High yeah. Point, North Carolina. My cousins, I know y'all gonna see this. I love y'all for real. They taught me a lot of shit too. The two years I was there, I soaked up a lot of their game too. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, around what year did you start rapping? Like, you know, like figured out that you wanted to do music. That's crazy, cause my cousin Chris. Um, R.I.P. Christopher McClain, my cousin Chris, we used to, that's when I first ever freestyled ever. <clears throat> like we in the basement <clears throat> at my mom's house, North Carolina. It's a Biggie Small song on the, that was the hottest shit back then, 94. Uh, I forget what song it was. Yeah. It was some Junior Mafia shit or something, I think. But um, we started freestyling over the radio. And that's the first time I ever freestyled in my life. Like, I'm probably about 12 or something. But seriously, trying to rap, I didn't get into that until 20. What year was it true? Look, where was we at, true? Like, we, yeah. I didn't start trying to seriously rap until 2018 or something. 20, no, no, 08. 08? Yeah, 08. 08. Okay, for sure. Yeah, 08. Right, right, That's right, a, right. yeah. Is that when you met True? Like, when did you meet True? So, so, so I, yeah, how did you meet True? Me and True been rocking, uh, I was 20 years old. Yeah, I was probably, I was 20 years old. What, you, what, you, what, you 36 now? Yeah, yeah, we gonna tell him that, huh? <laughs> yeah, nah, I, basically, that's 18 years ago. I'm 38 now. Yeah, we gonna tell him, yeah, that's, but yeah, me and True been rocking. He was about twelve. He had a big ass head and shit. Should have seen that nigga, man. He, and yeah. I, you know, nigga always believe for sure. Me and True been rocking since he was about 12, 13, Yeah, I right. think around that time. Okay, definitely, man. That's what's up. So when did you like? So is that around the time you moved back to San Francisco and everything? 
So from yeah. North, so from North Carolina, after the Oakland, after the Oakland high, and after my Oakland run, we moved back to the city. Now I'm on um, Oakdale, third. I'm on third in Oakdale. Come back to the city. But you know, I wanna go back to the I wanna, you know, I'm an army street nigga. I wanna go see what's up. Somehow I fall in, you know, I fall in line. Go back to the hood. And it was just love from there. We start going up from there. Okay. Got right back to the hood, huh? Definitely. Did you ever, uh, so around this time you was already over 18, right? You, you were grown. So, yeah. You so, look, yeah. Head. So, once so once high school was over with, I'm 18 now. I'm I'm, I'm 18 now. I'm back. I'm back in the city. <clears throat> as soon as high school over, I'm back in the city. Okay. So, by the time I'm, yeah. By the time I'm 20 or something, we over there back in Army Street like nothing, like I never left. That's what it right. felt like. Right, right. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. you tap back in with the hood, everybody like, oh, nigga, we know what it is. Like, right I'm just saying, home. like, that's how it went. Like, mm -hmm. and we right back to it. Like, yeah. we right back to it. So, so is that how you met? Did you meet True in Army Street? Is that how you met him? Yeah, yeah, and the, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, he was the baby in that hood. Right. We ain't gonna act like he wasn't. Look, yeah. that nigga, yeah, True was outside, nigga. You niggas went. Don't get me started, but yeah. Man, for sure. He, he was, yeah. Me and him got it. We family, basically. Like, it ain't no, it ain't nothing more, nothing less. Like, mm -hmm. it was automatically family from day one. So, yeah, that's how that went. Okay. And Nitty, he was with Nitty. Shout out to uh, Nitty. I can't forget my little brother. True and Nitty, man, them niggas is like glue. What was your first project that you had released, man, that you had really start working on back then? Damn. What was you doing in the studio? My first project that I ever really, really released. That had to be that one, huh? <laughs> Take the game, you laughing, huh? Shit. Take the game. I think it was Take the Game, huh, cuz? Remember the first mixtape I ever had? No, Take the game. game. Nah, that was the album. That was No Time to Wait. Take See, game. Take the Game was the mixtape. Look, yeah. Take the Game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was probably like 2010, G. Oh, oh, well, well. This, this is probably like 2010. Yeah, I'm so passing it out on the Woo Block. I'm, I'm trying to get somebody to oh, know yeah. I can rap. Yeah, yeah. I just want yeah, motherfuckers to, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I had, yeah. that's when I got locked, yeah. that's when I got locked in the studio. I locked myself in the studio, basically. Man, it was the first official, like, we could say besides the was first, like, niggas trying to measure I got an opportunity. I got an opportunity. Shout out to Rare Form and Rare Form. Rare Form is my guy. Like he, he gave me an opportunity to where we could put something out to the masses. We could put some out, not even to the masses, the people around us, because there wasn't no masses. It's just the people that are, that's around us. Just to start a buzz, you know how it go. We this nigga could rap. And that was probably 2010, for sure, I think. Yeah, 2010. Mm -hmm. My first project, Take the Game. Go look that up, too. I, I had bars back then, too, nigga, don't. 2010. Yeah, because I, I know you got, you got a lot of videos on YouTube, man. I know, so, you know, I, they keep popping up on my algorithm. So you definitely like put that. in work over the years, man. I like that. I like that, yeah. I've been trying to work. Like, it's just a love. It ain't nothing else. Like, nothing different. It's just a love for music. It's authentic with me when it comes to the music shit. Yeah. 